Hello, welcome to this new Kali Linux tutorial sessions. Today we are going to talk about Kali Linux users and groups management. All right, so as most of the things in Linux, as I had already mentioned for you, it's based on files. So it's not different with uh, users and groups. They are stored on files. So for example, users are stored on slash etc slash passwd file. The passwords are actually stored on slash etc slash shadow file. Groups information are stored on slash etc slash groups and encrypted group passwords are stored as slash etc slash g shadow. Creating users accounts. So if you are a Kali if you use Kali as a pen tester, normally you uh, use it and you run it as a root user, right? But uh, sometime you may need to create a non-privileged account. I don't know, maybe uh, you run Kali as your main operating system. Uh, but it's pretty uh, straightforward how to do that. Um, and the way you do that, it, it's just uh, um, you type add user and the username. I'll put here... Uh, my name, Luciano Ferrari, and hit enter. Okay, so he asked for a password. I was just write one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right, we are security professionals. Uh, retype the password, one, two, three, four, five. And it asks like for the full name, I'll put Luciano Ferrari. And then, okay, I don't want to put role number, work phone number, home number, uh, order, and is this information correct? So the default is yes, so just hit enter and boom, the user is created. That's, again, pretty much uh, straightforward. Uh, when it's done, it not only created the user, but also the home directory for that user, and it will follow settings based on the configuration file. The configuration file is uh, listed at, uh, we show you, so let's do a cat, slash etc slash adduser.conf okay so this is the configuration file if you want to change settings here you can change and it can be used every time you use the add user uh, command you can define uh, the range of user identifiers the uids the default shells group settings and other settings okay all right so let's clear this so the get and uh, command can be used to get information about a user. So for example, if I do here get and pass wd, which is uh, the list of users of the user Luciano Ferrari. So I get information about uh, Luciano Ferrari. So if I don't put this, right, it gets information about all of the users that I get, all of the users in the system. Uh, the other command, that's clear, this it's too much stuff here. The other command I want to talk about is the uh, um, passwd. Passwd is pretty much straightforward. I just uh, type in and it, it changes the password of the user. So passwd, Luciano Ferrari. Uh, so I know it was 123445, so I'll put like abc123. Uh, retype abc123 and done. So the Password for Luciano Ferrari is now ABC123, okay? Uh, the other command that, that is interesting is the uh, CHFN. So what it does, if I do this for Luciano Ferrari, put the username, it asks now what's the new full name of Luciano Ferrari. So let's say, oh, I inverted that. So actually the correct should be Ferrari Luciano, okay? And then that's it, so now, uh, the the full username now change it to Ferrari Luciano, okay, or whatever you want to change it. The other one is uh, to change the the shell command. So if we do change sh, um, it changed the shells command here. So now you see that uh, the value that the login shell is now set for slash bin slash bash. So if I want uh, a, uh, something different, I can just uh, uh, type it in here. All right, 
So clear again. So the other command I want to show you is the uh, CHH, which is uh, for age. So TH H um, Luciano Ferrari. So what it does is that it, it changes the age of the password. So what is the minimum password age? Right now it's set for zero. Um, so I can put it for uh, 15 or, or 30 days, for example. Um, and the maximum will be, uh, I would say, like a 45 days. Um, the last password change, that's okay. The password expiration warning, seven days b before it warns about the password change. Uh, then it asks about the uh, password inactive, uh, minus one is set. And when is the account expiration date, okay? If I want um, the account to expire at a certain date. Um, I can also do this uh, using the command pass the okay pass wd uh, dash e and the username Luciano Ferrari okay and then uh, what it does is that it requires the 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 user to change the password when he's going to log in the next time okay all right so uh, what about uh, how to disable an account. So sometimes you may need to disable an account just to lock out the user or, I don't know, maybe to do an investigation. But the point is that you don't want to delete the account, you just want to disable it, okay? So what you do is you just uh, uh, pass WD minus or dash L in the username, Luciano Ferrari. So this account now is disabled. Now if you want to really completely delete an username, Okay, so you want to completely delete your username. Uh, what you do is that user uh, del minus r, which means all the files it has, home directory and everything under it, um, minus r, and then the username, Luciano Ferrari. And then it completely uh, deleted the uh, username right now. Okay, that's great. So right now it's just saying here that the var mail was not find, found because it was not created, but uh, everything was uh, deleted and also the username was deleted here. Okay, now um, how about groups? Uh, groups are, are very easy as well, so um, let's just uh, clear this out. So if you want to add a group, you just do add group, okay. Um, so you have to put the name, right? So add group and then LUFSAC. Okay, and then he added the group, LUFSAC with the GID 1000. Um, if I want to delete a group, you just do del group uh, LUFSAC, and then it just remove the group LUFSAC, okay? It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so, um, I want to show another command, but for that I'm going to have to uh, create a group again. So I'll do uh, add group love sec. Okay, so I created this group. Now, if I want to change the password of this group, so right now it doesn't have any password, but I, if I want to set a password or change a password, I just use the command um, g pass wd and the name of the group. And then you ask, what is the password? One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. You re enter one, two, three, four, five, and bingo. So now this group has a password. It's very stupid. You don't know that, right? Uh, okay, don't tell anybody. Now, um, so if you want to remove the password, you just do uh, G pass WD minus R move sec. Okay, now the group does not have a password again. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I uh, just giving you the basics here. Uh, I hope this information is very useful for you, especially if you are trying to take the uh, uh, OCSP exam or the uh, the Cali uh, Linux certification from uh, Offensive Security. Uh, those series that I'm putting together for Cali Linux will be very useful for you. Thanks again, and see you next time.